Well, as the temperature is expected to drop below freezing, you might be thinking about the homeless and homeless unhoused population. That's right. It is so easy an issue to spot here in Atlanta and surrounding counties such as Gwinnett County. 11 Alive's Latasha Gibbons is live in Lawrenceville tonight with details on what the county will soon be doing to uh, to help there with, it, with this measure and how you also I know Latasha talked with the director of the nonprofit assisting the homeless. Yes, that's right. Good afternoon, Faith and Jonathan. I talked to a family promise of Gwinnett, and they tell us within the last two weeks of loan, they've received 33 applications from families who are currently seeking shelter. Now, this is just an example of why next week's homeless count is so significant. On Monday, Gwinnett County officials say they need to learn the total number of the homeless population within the county, and that's so they're able to determine what their needs are. Now, now, we talked to the director of an organization who says people who are homeless don't always want you to know that they are homeless, so it's hard to track that data. Here's a little bit of our interview from earlier today. What we see is situational homelessness. Um, you think about your child gets sick. If you are on hourly pay, you miss two weeks of work, and then you get two weeks behind in, in pay and unable to make rent. She says it can happen that quickly for families with just one paycheck. 